My name is Sahib Singh Khosla. I'm an actuary. I have uh, 15 years of experience in actuarial science and uh, I feel greatly honored to be given this honor of top 40 under 40. I'm 38. I'm happy to have received this before I cross the mark. And uh, it's a great privilege uh, to be recognized by the leading daily uh, for this uh, award, which I believe is honored uh, to individuals under the age category for various achievements. And I've been following the awards for a couple of years, noting the members of society that do receive these awards. So I'm very happy to be joining that club and uh, look forward to all that it brings. The, the career fits really well with my character. Uh, although I didn't know that as I was growing up, and I didn't know of actuarial science all the way till my high school, and it was uh, basically a very casual conversation with the career guidance, uh, guidance counselor at the school, and he mentioned actuarial science. Uh, but prior to that, uh, I was good in sciences. I was uh, a grade student. So career options were many. Um, maybe my mother envisioned me to be a doctor. I didn't. And uh, as the discussion of actuarial science came in and I joined at the University of Nairobi at the Chiromo campus for my four-year degree, I learned a lot more about the profession, its intricacies, its complexities. And as I developed my education and eventually experience, I really understood that it aligned well to my very core nature, which is I was generally analytical as a kid and I've always seen things from a lens of risk and how to manage uncertainty. So it's a perfect fit. So I, I believe uh, several aspects. Uh, one on the career path, uh, as an actuary, I've been involved in quite some fundamental projects uh, which are of national importance. I've been involved with things to do with NSSF, NHIF. At the beginning of my career, and albeit at a junior level, I think those uh, inputs have been valuable in transforming some of these uh, larger government institutions to the quality they are today. And of course, there's still some work to be done, but I've been part of these projects. And later on, as my career has uh, developed, I've been able to participate in various aspects of where actuarial science is used. So I'm lucky I've not siloed myself in one particular aspect. Um, some of this is luck, I admit. I've managed to work in the insurance sector, I've worked in the pension sector, I've worked in the banking sector. So it's a wide variety of experience and doing projects of value, of national importance, that I believe are critical to the recognition. Further to that, uh, that's maybe core to the profession, uh, but maybe also I believe the work I've done for society at large uh, contributes to this recognition. And this is a uh, uh, head of state commendation that was awarded to me by the president last year and on January Day. And uh, the HSC, both there's a military division and a civilian division award, is awarded to nationals who have made significant contribution to society. And my particular contribution was a five-year project that I did on a voluntary basis, which I initiated and led, that led to resolution of statelessness for a particular community of people and gave feedback into the changes in the national laws that we require in the Citizenship and Immigration Act so as to ensure current and future statelessness of Kenyan communities comes to an end. So it's part of a national project. Uh, I got involved and uh, I made a significant impact there. So my days are not typical. Every day is different. I think that comes with being a consultant. Uh, I am a consultant here at Lux Actuaries, which is a company I'm a partner with. Uh, other partners we set up, it's part of a global franchise. But further to that, I'm an academic at Strathmore University. I've been doing that for 10 years. I've been the head of the actuarial science program there for a couple of years. And so I go teach, I consult, I work here in the office, I go meet clients. So there's no typical day. Uh, it's full of different activities. It's exciting, but it's never routine. Uh, it keeps me very busy. It's not usually an eight hour day. Uh, it extends quite long working hours uh, over the weekends as well. Uh, but I do enjoy what I do. Uh, so that keeps me going. Uh, you ask about hobbies. Uh, not so certain about that. Mm -hmm. I'm quite busy with my corporate life. Yeah. Um, I had hobbies. I was one, one time a performer. I used to 
do shows at Carnival. I was a musician, <laughs> but that, that is now the past. Uh, maybe one day, if I take a career break, I will get back to it. It still interests yeah. me a lot. Uh, but for now, uh, engagements such as, as I mentioned, the consultancy, the education, and also uh, leading the actual society has uh, taken a lot of my time in the role of president of the society. There's a lot of work to be done. So one of the articles that was featured by the Daily in terms of actuarial science uh, students uh, and their challenges is very real. And it's something the society has grappled with to make an impact. Um, we have taken strides. We have not yet reached the end. It reminds me of my initiative on the stateless project. It took years. Uh, it has multiple stakeholders, it needs a lot of engagement, a lot of personal time, a lot of commitment, which goes maybe beyond the merit of what you expect in the role of leading a society, but someone's got to do it. And a lot of my myself and some council members have been quite interested in this particular area of education and, you know, making it better so that students have a better quality of education, have a better scope of uh, future career aspect in actuarial science. Um, and we have initiatives that are working towards this. There's the initiative of working with the Commission of University Education and uh, a larger initiative to become a fully fledged profession as per Kenyan law. So we have an actuaries bill that we have drafted. And the most recent development is that uh, this bill has been presented to the current Minister of Finance, Professor Njunguna. And uh, one of the directorates within the National Treasury are now looking at it we have advice from the Attorney General on how to proceed. And hopefully if we are able to put our energies and also larger things come together, including luck, we are able in the year 2024 to push this to Parliament, go defend the reason for it, and have ourselves move from being a society under the Societies Act to a fully-fledged profession guided by the Actuaries Act of Parliament. And your question earlier spoke about impacts or activities in society. Mm -hmm. And so there's several. I mean, I belong to a certain community of people. I'm, acting in, I'm active in my own community. I've done things at a larger society level that led to a national award. I'm very active in my profession, currently leading it. So the, the activeness is definitely there. Mm -hmm. At times I do feel burnt out, I must admit, with all the activity. Uh, but what uh, I read uh, from one of your former recipients, I think all the way back in 2012, which was part of your article, and he mentioned that the, uh, the impact of the award on him was fundamental, and I believe the impact of the award on me will be fundamental as well, uh, giving recognition, especially amongst professionals uh, who are readers and consumers of this media, um, and that helps me position myself better both in terms of my career and in terms of uh, service. Service to whether it is the larger financial services space where we operate as actuaries or the larger society where we act as risk managers in various capacities. So I think it will be impactful. Um, I think the, the national awards, uh, this is just my opinion, I don't think amongst professionals they are very well understood. Uh, they are, and they are usually awarded to people who are in the civil service. Mm -hmm. It's very rare for a, a national, a civilian to be awarded that award. So I don't think its recognition is really understood, but something like uh, a Business Daily Award or a Media Award is very well recognized amongst the professional class. So I believe it will uh, really help my career trajectory and my eventual impact. <laughs>